Hi, welcome to Greedy 3D. Well, I've made a few Terminator things in my day. I've done a full-size Terminator arm. I've done numerous Terminator heads with LED light-up eyes, but I've never made the full T800 exoskeleton. Um, now, on my Mars 2 Mono, I'm not going to make a big one, but I found a little file that will print it in one go, and I want to see how the Elegoot will cope with that. Now, they're quite intricate little parts, and I have some doubts that it'll do it all without a few breakages, but let's try it. Let's print uh, the model that I'm going to show you now, here, and uh, let's see how we get on printing this on the water washable. And uh, once we've once we've printed it all up, we'll have a look at it and see what we think. Uh, stay tuned. If you're interested, don't forget to subscribe. So he's had about an eight hour print. Well, he's had a little bit longer than that because I've left him overnight. But as you can see, the T800 is is all done. Seems to be in one piece. You can never tell till you. Uh, Till you get it out but 40 mils of resin later and uh, look at the detail seems to be done we'll take him out we'll give him a little bit of a wash and we'll see what we've got okay well there he is he's come out relatively unscathed as you can probably see here he's lost a hand but you know what i can make a new hand for him with just a few of the supports that have come off but on the whole he's come out really well um it's a very fine model it's a little bit a little bit wobbly as you can see even after curing but you know it does the job it does the job really well there's a few little supports that i'm gonna have to take off but um on the whole i think i'm really pleased with how this little t800 endoskeleton has come out printing in one go um a couple of minor repairs so uh, let's do that and then i'll paint him up and we'll have a look at the painting process that shouldn't take too long for this little chap um stay tuned so i've just given um our arnie in the making a coat of rust-oleum the chrome and uh, wow, look how that's come out with just a simple coat of chrome paint. I've still got to repair his hand, which I'll do when he's dried, but um, easy peasy painting. Took me a couple of seconds just to give him a layer of that. And I'll uh, I'll do his gun, and I'll touch his eyes up, and a little bit of darkening in some of the areas for the uh, silver. And voila, he's done. Oh, of course, I've got to do the base and probably uh, use some army, for the army paint of Battlefield's basing kit on that, but wow really pleased with how that's turned out and has been really easy to make. I'm just using some Army Painter Matte Black to paint his 40 watt pulse rifle, um, as I seem to recall it was called in the uh, in the film. Um, I'm not too bothered if some of the silver shines through on this because I was going to highlight it with a bit of silver anyway so I've missed, a, if I've missed a few little bits and pieces. I'm not too bothered because it'll just look like a little bit of weathering on the gun but I'm going to give it a couple of layers just to make it nice and matte. Um, so the makeshift hand that I've made was just from a few little bits of supports that I'd got left over. Just make sure if you're going to do anything like this, you do cure those supports. And a little bit of super glue and a lot of fiddling and a bit of patience and, and a few moments of sticking my fingers together. And there we go. He's now got a hand. Um, skeleton bone army painter paint just to give the skulls on the base a little layer of uh, skull color and um, again a few layers of that just to make sure none of the silver shines through it um, now i'm using the army painter battlefields basing kit and uh, it comes with all the bits and pieces you'll need starting off with some of this um, pva glue um, really good stuff and it, you get quite a bit with the basting kit it's not too expensive either get it from amazon um, a snip at half the price and, and really good for what it is and i'm just going to smear some of that glue using a toothpick all over the base now i want to get it all across the area that i want the uh, the sand and the grass effects to stick to so take your time with this bit and just make sure that you're getting in all the nooks and the crannies because you might want to make sure you don't have any patches on there. Just take your time. And when you're happy that all of your base is covered in the PVA, take some of the sand effect. Uh, it's like grit and uh, literally just bung it on there. You don't have to be careful. Um, do it in the tray that you're using that comes with the Army Fields uh, Battlefield Basing Kit and that will capture any of the little bits that you're not using. Give it a little tap, give it a little waggle about just to get, uh, get all that sand on there. Use the grass effects as well, mix it in together and uh, just tap it about. Get all the, uh, the bits that you're not going to use off. You might need to just put it back on again and tap it off and put it on again just to cover all the glue. Um, use your finger to just push some of that grass into it as well. And uh, there you go. There's the effect. 
Um, I'm using a little bit more glue and I'm going to use some of the stone effects that also come with the kit just to uh, add a little bit more depth and texture to the base. And um, that is it. It's as simple as that. And the base looks absolutely amazing. I'm really, really pleased with that. And there he is. There's the T800 all finished. Now I'm, I'm absolutely chuffed how that's come out, considering that's a print in one go. And I think you'll agree, we can't really complain about the quality. The hand looks all right as well. All right, it's not perfect, but come on, it's better than no hand at all. And the uh, Elegoo Mars 2 printed that in one go. The detail, as you can see in there, that's not been too bad at all. Um, really, really chuffed with it. And uh, I'm going to be happy to add that to my Terminator collection. I hope you've enjoyed the making process today. And if you have, please subscribe and let's see what we make next time. Thanks for watching.